if you want to find the volume of the solid under uh, a surface, enclosed by a surface, and uh, the region R, okay, the surface is Z, which is a function of X and Y, and the region R on the XY plane, okay, there will be no more uh, revolution, axis of revolution, kasi meron na talaga tayo na solid. Okay, so since meron na tayong solid, hindi na rectangular element ang gagamitin natin. Okay, we will have uh, a, a solid, okay, an element which is in the form of a rectangular parallelepiped. Rectangular kasi rectangular ang basis. So just imagine na yung mga square dito sa XY plane are the basis of the uh, elements. Okay, uh, ito yung magiging element natin. The base is a rectangle, which will be the differential of A, and the height is the distance from the upper portion to the base, which is on the XY plane. Okay, is, is that clear? So, the height is equal to Z, and the base is equal to the differential of A. Now, the differential of A may be either dx dy, okay, kasi ito yung ano, ito yung dy, tapos ito yung dx. So, since rectangular yan, then the area is equal to dx dy or in the order, the differential of A is equal to dy dx. Okay, uh, this is actually explained in the, in the previous lesson. So, when we say dx dy, it is vertical uh, horizontally symbol, meaning we will do the x integration first and then the outer integration in y. When we have dy dx, we have uh, y is the inner variable of integration and x is the outer variable of integration. So we will focus on the element. If we will get the volume of the element, of course, it is equal to the height times the base. The base is equal to the differential of a times the height. So we have f of x, y, which is z, no? z is equal to a function of x and y times the uh, base area, which is equal to the differential of a. Now, imagine that there are infinitely many elements dito, okay? Na ang base niya, yung mga, mga square na to, okay? Now, if we will get the summation of the volume of the infinitely many uh, many rectang uh, rectangular uh, parallelepiped here, then if we will get the sum of the volume, then we can denote that by the summation of uh, the height, okay, f of x sub k, y sub k times the base delta a sub k, okay, where k goes from uh, i to n, okay, and if we will get the limit of the sum, as n increases without bound, okay? So, as n increases without bound, eto mga parang poste na to, parang linya na lang yan, no? Okay, then, uh, this is the Riemann sum, and this is equivalent to the Riemann integral, the double integral of f of x, y times the differential of a over the region r. Now, the region r will give us the... Uh, limits of integration, the limits of integration, no? inner limits of integration, and outer limits of integration. Now, if it is vertically simple, meaning the differential of A is dy dx, then the double integral, the volume, which is equal to the double integral of f of x, y times the differential of A over the region R is the double integral of f of x, y, dy dx. Okay, take note that Y is the inner variable of integration and uh, the inner limits of integration uh, are G1 and G2, which are independent of Y. So, kung independent of Y siya, it will be in terms of X. And the outer limits of integration in X, X goes from A to B. And please take note that the outer limits of integration are independent of both X and Y. So, dapat A and B are constant. Okay, so what if the differential of A is dx dy? Okay, this time the inner variable of integration is x. So 
the limits of integration goes from H1 to H2, and H1 and H2 are independent of X. Therefore, it must be in terms of Y. Okay? Uh, do you get it? Uh, wait. So, the outer limits of integration in Y goes from C to D. So, outer limits of integration are independent of X and Y, hence C and D are constant. Okay, rule of the thumb, tatandaan nyo. The outer limits of integration A, B, C, and D are always constant. Okay? So, laging constant siya, independent of the variables of integration. And please take note that when y is the inner variable of integration, x is temporarily held as constant. Okay, so pag nag-integrate natin tayo, mag-integrate tayo where x is uh, taken as constant. On the other hand, if the inner variable of integration is x, the other variable y is temporarily held as constant. Just like what we are doing in getting the partial derivative. Diba? If we have, say, z, which is a function of x and y, pag kinuha natin yung partial derivative with respect to x, y is held as constant. If we will get the partial derivative with respect to y, x is held as constant. So, ganun din dito sa iterated integrals. When the inner integral is y, evaluating the integral in y will hold x as constant. Now, if the inner integral uh, variable of integration is x, the other variable y is temporarily held as constant. Okay, so to, to wrap up, no, to find the volume by double integration, okay, we draw the solid, okay, and then draw or sketch the region R, which will give us the limits of integration by determining the interval of y and x. Kung alin ang mauuna, it will depend on whether it is horizontally simple, dx dy, or dy dx. Okay, and we shall illustrate this, okay, using... Uh, using a whiteboard. No? Uh, let us have the first example on how to find the volume of solid by double integration. Okay, so by double integration, we need to find the volume of the tetrahedron bounded by the coordinate planes. And pag sinabi natin coordinate planes, these are the x, y plane, the x, z plane, and the y, z plane. And the plane z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y. Okay, so let me write here the plane z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y. Okay, and uh, the solid is bounded by the coordinate planes. Okay, so let us uh, draw the uh, uh, solid muna, no? Actually, pwede namang hindi mo na i-draw ang solid as long as we can sketch the region R on the xy plane. Pwede nating ano, pwede na nating i-solve yung volume and uh, let us do it that way, no? So kukunin muna natin yung region R, region R in the xy plane. So, if you will get the region R in the xy plane, so, siyempre, z is equal to 0. Nagets nyo? So, in the xy plane, z is equal to 0. And if z is equal to uh, 0, we can get the trace of the plane z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y on the xy plane. So, to get the trace, okay, we, we let z is equal to 0. Okay, wait, dito ko na lang susulat. Okay, we will get the trace on the xy plane. Now, to get the trace on uh, the xy plane, we let z is equal to zero. Okay, we mean the trace of uh, 
the plane z is equal to 4 my uh, 4 minus 4x minus 2y huh? so if z is equal to 0 what will happen 4 minus 4x minus 2y is equal to 0 right and uh, we can actually simplify this no or dito na natin lalagay ito pwede rin dito sa no para okay I'm admitting one of your classmates. Kung na problema siya sa internet, no? lumabas. So we have 0 is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y from the equation z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y. We're getting the trace of this uh, plane on the xy plane. I hope that you can still remember your lesson in Math 146. Okay, and if you will simplify this equation, we can transpose negative 4x, negative 2y to the left member. Okay, and it will give us, okay, sorry. Okay, this will give us 4x plus 2y is equal to 4. And we can still simplify this equation if we will divide both sides by 2. 2 is common, right? We have 2x plus y is equal to 4. Okay. So, uh, if we want to get the trace on the xy plane, okay, so we draw the xy plane. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, okay? And let us get the x-intercept and y-intercept. To get the x-intercept, okay, of course, we will let uh, x, uh, sorry, y is equal to 0, z is already 0. So when x is equal to 0, okay, uh, y is equal to 0 rather, when y is equal to 0, okay, what will happen? We have 2x is equal to 4, therefore x is equal to, x is equal to uh, 2. So we have 2x is equal to 4, so that x is equal to 2. Therefore, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Therefore, the intercept is at 2, 0. Okay, so we can count 2 here. Um, yes. Shouldn't the equation be 2x plus y equals 2? Because ah, we sorry. divide both sides by 2. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that. Thank you. You should be two. So I was not able to divide the right member by two. So if y is equal to zero, then we will have two x is equal to. So this must be two x is equal to two and x is equal to one. Therefore, the x intercept is at, where is the x intercept? At one. Zero. Okay. So, lakihan natin ang konti ito. And let this be one. So, ito yung one zero. Okay. And of course, this is the origin zero zero. So, this is the x-intercept. And if we will get the y-intercept, okay, this time, we can set x is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 0, okay, use this simplified equation. When x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 2. Okay, therefore, we have the y-intercept at 0, 2. Okay, let us locate 0, 2. We have 1, 2. Nandito yung y-intercept at 0, 2. And if we will connect the x-intercept and the y-intercept, of course, this is represented by this line, okay? Itong line na to, this is uh, the line at uh, 2x plus y is equal to 2. This is actually the trace on the x-y plane. Nagets ba? So this is the region R. Ito yung region R on uh, the x-y plane. And from the region R, we can actually determine the uh, limits of integration by getting the uh, by getting the uh, 
uh, interval of y and interval of uh, x. Actually, pwede namang uh, vertically simple or horizontally simple to pareho. Okay? Uh, because uh, look at this, no? Meron tayong mga equation, no? 2x plus y is equal to 2. Okay? We can easily solve for y in terms of x or x in terms of y. Now, uh, pag draw natin ang element, okay, we can uh, simply uh, draw the, 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 the square here. Okay. Pwede natin i-draw itong square. Okay, ito yung pinaka-base ng element. This is dx and this is dy. Okay, got it? So, we will focus here. This is the differential of A. And we can either do vertically simple or horizontally simple. Pag vertically simple, you can draw the vertical line. Okay, so magda-draw tayo ng vertical line. Actually, you can draw the vertical line anywhere on the region and then draw the element. So if we will have it vertically simple, meaning the differential of A is equal to dy dx. So unahin natin ng y integration. So the region R will be y going from, okay, titignan natin yung uh, interval ng y. Saan magsisimula yung y? Look at the vertical line. So, magsisimula siya sa x-axis where y is equal to 0. So, y will go from 0 hanggang saan? Hanggang dito sa line. And the line is 2x plus y is equal to 2. And if we will solve for y, y is equal to 2 minus 2x. Therefore, y will go from 0, okay, from the x-axis to the upper end of the vertical line which is y is equal to 2 minus 2x. Okay? Now, what about the outer limits of integration, the interval of x? Okay? The inter Take note na sinabi ko kanina that the outer limits of integration must be constant. So, pagkuha natin ng uh, uh, interval ng y, uh, ng x rather, we will consider the leftmost value of x and the rightmost value of uh, x. So, saan magsisimula yung x, no? Saan siya magsisimula? Magsisimula siya dito sa y-axis, no? From x is equal to 0 hanggang saan? Y ano yung rightmost? The rightmost is at the intersection 1, 0. So, x will go from 0 to 1. Okay, nagets nyo. So, meron na tayong region R, and the region in the region R, y goes from zero to two minus two x, and x goes from zero to one. Now, uh, with this, we can actually set up the uh, working equation. We focus on the element. The base of the element is the differential of a, and we chose the differential of a is equal to dy dx. And the element has height equal to Z. So the element has volume. Okay, sorry. This must be V. Okay. The element has the volume equal to the height Z times the differential of A. Now, if we will evaluate the double integral over the region R of Z times the differential of A, then that will give us the volume of the solid. Okay, and we already have the differential uh, uh, the differential of A. You know, we chose it to be vertically simple dy dx and we have the interval of y and x in the region R in the xy plane. So, the volume of the solid is equal to the double integral of z. Ano yung z? 4 minus 4x minus 2y. Okay, times the differential of A. The differential of A is dy dx. Okay, actually, pepeding dx dy, pero you have to change the corresponding uh, interval for y and x. Okay, well, anyway, the inner variable of integration is y. Therefore, the limits of integration, y will go from 0, so the lower limit is 0, to 2 minus 2x. Therefore, the upper limit of integration is 2 minus 2x. 
And x will go from 0 to 1. Okay, so look at this. As long as we have the interval of the variables of integration in the region R, we can set up the uh, working formula. And we have it now. We can now compute for the volume. We have the double integral of z, which is 4 minus 4x minus 2y, the differential of a. Okay, we took it at as uh, we take it rather as vertically simple dy dx. Okay, so y will go from 0 to 2 minus 2x, and x will go from 0 to 1. Okay, etong dy dx vertically simple, parang gumagamit lang tayo ng vertical element. Okay. So the vertical element, kukunin natin yung, yung, ano, yung interval ng y from 0 hanggang saan? Hanggang sa line 2x plus y is equal to 2. Okay? And you can just solve for y and y is equal to 2 minus 2x. Okay? So if we will evaluate the double integral, of course, we start with the inner integral. We evaluate first the Integral of 4 minus 4x minus 2y with respect to y. Limits going from 0 to 2 minus 2x. Okay, holding x as constant. Variable of integration is y, so the other variable x is temporarily held as constant. Hence, we will have volume is equal to the integral from 0 to 1. Do not forget the outer integral, no? Susulat pa rin natin yan. Para tayo nag-remove nag lang ng grouping symbol, di ba? When we remove grouping symbol, we start with the innermost, pero sinusulat pa rin natin yung mga outer, uh, outer symbol of ano, grouping symbols, rather. Okay? So, ganun din dito. Do not forget to write the outer integral. So, the integral from 0 to 1, and we now evaluate the integral of 4 minus 4x minus 2y in y, holding x as constant. Therefore, 4 minus 4x is constant, right? So, if it is a constant, so we write the constant 4 minus 4x times the differential of y, okay? And the integral of the differential of y is y, okay? Minus integrating 2y dy, okay? Integral of 2y dy is 2y square over 2. We can cancel 2. So that gives us y square. And the integral must be evaluated from the lower limit y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 2 minus 2x times the differential of x. Okay. So before we... Uh, Evaluate, of course, the outer integral. Si simplify muna natin to. Okay, integral from 0 to 1. Evaluate the resulting indefinite integral at the upper limit. So, meaning replacing y by the upper limit 2 minus 2x. So, that will give us a 4, excuse me, a 4 minus 4x. Okay, replace y by 2 minus 2x times 2 minus 2x minus when y is equal to 2 minus uh, 2x, then we have 2 minus 2x raised to the second power, okay? And evaluating the uh, indefinite integral at the lower limit, y is equal to 0, okay? If we will replace y uh, by 0, everything will be 0. So, lalagay ko na lang minus 0, ha? Huh? So, times the differential of x. And uh, let us simplify 0 to 1. Okay, open bracket. We multiply 4 minus 4x by 2 minus 2x, and that will give us 8. Uh, negative 8x plus negative 8x gives us negative 16x. Negative 4x times negative 2x is positive 8x squared. Then minus... The square of 2 minus 2x. The square of uh, 2 minus 2x is 4 minus 8x plus 4x squared. Okay, close times the differential of x. And uh, let us combine similar terms. Integral from 0 to 1 of, okay, let us combine the constant terms. 8 minus 4 is 4. Negative 16x Minus minus is plus, so 
negative 16x plus 8x will give us negative 8x. And positive 8x squared minus 4x squared will give us positive 4x squared. Okay, got it? So times what? The differential of x. Can everybody follow up to this point? Everybody yes, follow? Yes, okay. So tapos na tayo sa inner integration. We will now do the outer integration in x. Okay, so let us evaluate the integral. Integral of 4 dx is 4x. Okay. Actually, kung gusto nyo, pwede, not, pwede tayo mag-factor out ng 4. Okay. Kung gusto nyo lang naman. So, well, anyway, the integral of 4 dx is uh, 4x minus. The integral of 8x dx is 8x squared over 2. No? So, 8 by 2 will give us 4. So, this will give us 4x squared plus Integral of 4x squared dx is 4x cubed over 3. And we have to evaluate this from the lower limit 0 to the upper limit uh, 1. Okay? So evaluating within the limits of uh, integration gives us volume is equal to. When x is equal to the upper limit 1, okay, that gives us 4 minus 4 times 1 square is 4 plus 4 times 1 raised to the third power is 4 over 3 minus the value of the integral at the lower limit, 0. And when x is equal to 0, everything is 0. Now, 4 minus 4 is 0 plus 4 thirds, so that gives us volume is equal to 4 over 3 cubic units. Okay, so we were able to uh, evaluate the integral, the double integral, okay, over the region R, where y goes from uh, 0 to 2 minus 2x, and x goes from 0 to 1. And the double integral is actually the volume of the solid, okay, which is a tetrahedron bounded by the coordinate planes and the plane z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y. Okay, so you were able to see that even without the solid, as long as we have the sketch of the region R in the xy plane, we can, uh, uh, we can uh, compute for the volume of the solid as long as we know the region R. Kasi ito yung magdedetermine or ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng limits of integration. Okay, so ito yung pwede yung gawin if you are, if you have time constraint. No, halimbawa, hindi naman hinihingi yung solid, pwede na natin i-draw yung, ano, sketch yung region R, and then we set up the working uh, equation. Pero of course, uh, mas maganda kung madudraw natin ang solid. So kung hindi tayo nagmamadali, pwede natin i-draw na yung solid. Okay, and the solid, of course, is in 3D. Okay, we draw the uh, coordinate axis. Okay, let this be the y-axis, x-axis, and z-axis. Okay, and since uh, the solid is bounded by the coordinate planes and the plane z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y, then it will be more convenient to just locate the intercepts the intersection with the x-axis and with the y-axis now since na draw na natin yung region r nakuha na natin yung x-intercept and the x-intercept is at one zero di ba pero since three-dimensional na to we have one zero zero and y-intercept is at zero two zero okay and Nakuha na natin yung trace on the xy plane, okay? Etong region R, tina-transfer lang natin dito sa 3D, no? Sa xy plane sa 3-dimensional where z is 0. So this line is the line 2x plus y is equal to 2. Uh, this is uh, the trace on the xy plane, okay, 2x plus y is equal to 2. And uh, previously, when we 
um, sketch the region R, okay, and we did it horizontally simple, meaning the differential of A is equal to dy dx, then we were able to solve for y and y is equal to, y is equal to what? 2 minus 2x. And this is the trace on the xy plane. So all we need to do is to draw the traces on the other two coordinate planes, the x z plane and the y z plane. Okay, since we have located the x-intercept and y-intercept, all we need to do now is to locate the intersect, sorry, the intersection on the z-axis. Okay, and how do we get the z-intercept? How do we get the z-intercept? Huh? Y and x are equal to zero. Okay, y and x are zero. So x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero. Okay, what will be our basis? Now we have z is equal to four minus, excuse me. Okay, uh, excuse. Uh, we have z is equal to four minus four x minus two y. So when x is zero and y is equal to zero, what is the corresponding value of z? Plus, anybody? When x is zero and y is equal to zero, what is the corresponding value of z? Okay, my internet. Four. Okay, four. Okay. Am I still with you? My internet is going crazy. Nagchachapi ba? Hindi naman. Okay, so if not, we have z is equal to, okay, wait. Uh, this is z, therefore, the intersection with the z-axis is at 0, 0, 4. Okay, so let us locate uh, 0, 0, 4. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is the z-intercept, okay, whose coordinates are 0, 0, 4. Okay, so... Based on what we have learned in Math 146, now just connect the intercepts, okay, to get the traces on the coordinate planes. Actually, we have drawn the, uh, the trace on the XY plane, and uh, that is on the region R, yung ginawa natin kanina, no? So we can now uh, connect the Z-intercept and the Y-intercept. Okay, so just draw the uh, line connecting the intercepts. And this time we have uh, the x-intercept and the z-intercept. Okay, so we have the um, traces on the yz plane and on the xz plane. Now, uh, it is not necessary no man, to get the... Uh, equation of the traces on the yz plane and the xz plane, okay? So, ang importante is the equation of the trace on the xy plane kasi it will be our basis of uh, the region R on the xy plane. And you can see the triangular, uh, triangular uh, region here or area here, right? Okay, ito, this triangular area is the plane z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y. Okay, claro? Okay. Now, what should be the next step? No? Okay, we have to draw the element. So, to draw the element, we draw first the differential of A, okay, which can be either dy dx or dx dy, and in this case, we chose it to be uh, vertically simple, so we have dy dx. So to draw the element, we just draw lines parallel to the x-axis and parallel to the y-axis. So at the differential of a natin. Of course, this is dx and this is dy. And then just project it to the plane. To the plane, z is equal to 4 minus 4x minus 2y. So use... Uh, ruler na lang sa ano nyo ha? Gumamit na lang kayo ng ruler. Kasi it is hard uh, drawing a straight line here. 
in the writing pad. So, ipoproject nyo lang sa plane and then draw the upper base of the element. So, ito yung element natin whose height is equal to z. Of course, z is equal to 4 minus or x minus 2y. And uh, the base area is equal to the differential of a. And we chose the differential of a is equal to dy dx. Okay. But of course, you can also solve this problem no, using the order dx dy, meaning uh, we, we will uh, have it horizontally simple. And uh, I think you can do it. No? So that will be your um, exercise. No? You can do it on your own. I'll wait, huh? So if you will do it on your own, no? do this as exercise. You solve the same problem, but this time you will let the differential of A in the order dx dy horizontally simple. So you will have the same region R except that instead of uh, instead of uh, doing it in the order dy dx, no? Okay? I refer to the region R. So ano yung gagawin nyo? Magda-draw kayo ng horizontal line, then draw the base of the element. So mauuna yung interval ng x, so you will have the region R, so you will get the interval of x and the interval of y. Okay, is that clear? So what do you think? What will be the interval of x if we will do, uh, if we will do it horizontally simple? Anybody? So saan mag-start? Okay, kung horizontal, very similar to the Horizontal element in ordinary integration. So, saan magsisimula? Sa kaliwa, di ba? And ano yung left natin? Determined by? By the y-axis. And y-axis? Zero po. Yes, very good. Zero. Hanggang saan, Ivo? Hanggang saan? What will be x uh, right? x equals to minus y over 2 po. Okay, so we, we have to solve, okay, di ba meron tayong 2x plus y is equal to 2. So we have to solve for x, okay? And if we will solve for x, then we will have x is equal to 2 minus, okay, minus y. Pero we have to divide it by 2. We have to divide everything by 2. So 2 minus y over 2. So x will go from 0 to 2 minus y over 2. What about y? Give me the interval of y this time. Y will go from where? So, ano yung sabi ko sa inyo? Para lang hinihila to, yung element para lang hinihila, kaliwa pa kanan, and then baba pa taas, lower to upper. And what is the lowest value of y? What is the lowest value of y? Saan ba magsisimula? Sa baba, di ba? And what is y? On the x-axis. I'm um, zero as well. Okay, zero to? Zero to what? One pa, ma'am. One ba? One ba? Take note that we're doing it vertically this time. We're getting the value of y. So y will go from zero hanggang saan? What is the upper, what is the highest value of y here? Ano yung pinakamataas na value I'm two pa, two pa. Okay, two. Sorry. Pangit ba yung sulat ko? Okay, zero to two. So this must be two. No? Two yan. Okay. So ito yung magiging limits of integration nyo. If uh, you will do it uh, horizontally simple, dx dy. No? So x will go from zero to 2 minus y all over 2, or 1 half of a quantity 2 minus y, and y will go from 0 to 2. The outer limit of integration must be, uh, must go from 0 to 2. Okay, so any question on number 3? Okay, 
we have to find the volume of the solid that lies below the surface, Z is equal to 4 minus X minus Y, and above the region in the XY plane, bounded by X is equal to 0, X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 0, and Y is equal to 2. Okay. So the solid is bounded above by the surface A is equal to 4 minus X minus Y. Of course, this is a plane, no? Bakit plane? Kasi lahat ng uh, variables X, Y, and Z are first degree. So we have a plane above. And the region R in the X, Y plane is rectangular. Okay, pag rectangular, masaya. So X going from 0 to 1, Y is equal to going from 0 to 2. So again, if you are time constrained, no, pwedeng i-draw muna natin yung region R if you are not asked naman to draw the solid and kulang yung oras natin. So kailangan sketch muna natin yung region R para ma-determine natin ang uh, limits of integration, no? the interval of y and x. Okay, and since the region R is rectangular, we can either do it vertically simple or horizontally simple. Okay, so we have, of course, Z is equal to 4 minus X minus Y. Okay, the solid is bounded above by this plane. And uh, the rectangular region R on the XY plane, okay, goes from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1. Okay, so let us draw the uh, x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, we have first the xy plane, you know, the region R and the xy plane. And when we say x is equal to 0, of course, it is what? We are referring to the y-axis, so the boundary, the uh, left boundary, or the boundary on the left is the y-axis. Then x is equal to 1, so we count uh, one unit here, okay? And of course, x is equal to 1 is a vertical line. Then y is equal to 0, the x-axis bounded by the x-axis, y is equal to 1. y is equal to 1 is, of course, uh, Ah, sorry, y is equal to 2. Wait. Nagkamali ng kopya. Okay, so this must be 2. Okay. Let me do some modification on the graph. Pababa ko lang, ha? Okay, let this be the x-axis. And... Okay, let this be 2, ito yung 1, and this is x is equal to 1. And x is equal to 1 is a vertical line. Okay, so this is y is equal to 2. Okay, and this one is x is equal to 1. So let us uh, label x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. And we are actually referring to this region R, the shaded uh Region. Okay, now, uh, what do we use? Vertically simple or the order dx, dy, or dy, dx? Horizontally simple or vertically simple? Uh, this is a rectangular region. So, pepede actually kahit na ano, di ba? Okay. Uh, kanina, we had it vertically simple, right? This time, let us have it horizontally simple. So, ano yung gagawin natin pag horizontally simple? Okay, we draw any horizontal line within the region. Okay, so let this uh, represent the element. Okay, uh, uh, what I mean is uh, to represent that we are doing it horizontally simple. Okay, and then draw the base of the element. This is the differential of A. So we chose to have the differential of A is equal to dx dy. We will do the inner integration in x first and the outer integration in y. Okay, so 
if this is the element and uh, we have dx dy, then the region R is the region where x goes from x going from can I hear from you? Ay, natutulog na yata lahat. X will go from where? Class M I with you? Narinig yes, ba ako? Yes, baka oh, nasa labas na ako. Hindi ko alam, nasa labas na ako. So, X will go from where? Anybody? Saan magsisimula? From left moss to right moss. So, X will go from? Saan ba magsisimula? Sa y-axis. So, pag nasa y-axis, ano yung value ng X? Mga anak. Ano yung value ng X pag nasa y-axis? X is? X is what? Zero po. Zero. Okay, good. Okay, hanggang saan? Up to the right moss. And what is the value of X? Sa kanan. Parang, parang X right lang to at saka X left, no? So what is X right? Yes, again? I heard somebody answer. One po, ma'am. Zero one. and one. Okay. So X will go from zero to one. Kaliwa pa kanan. Okay. Now, what about Y? Ano yung magiging interval ng Y natin? Okay. Baba, pataas. Okay. Lower to upper. Okay. Ano yung magiging Y lower natin? Saan mag-start? Mag-start tayo with the X-axis. Magsisimula sa, sa X-axis. And what is Y sa X-axis? Class? I'm from zero pa. From zero. Okay, good. Up to? Two po, Up to two. Okay, very good. So, tatandaan ha, okay, kaliwa pa kanan, baba pa taas. Okay, para itong, uh, this is similar to our lesson in module two sa ordinary integrals, no? Okay, we have x left and x right. Okay, left to right then. Uh, y upper and y lower. So, y lower to y upper. Okay. So, ito na yung region R natin where x goes from 0 to 1 and y goes from 0 to 2. So, even without the uh, solid, we can still set up the uh, uh, working equation for uh, the volume, the volume of the solid. Of course, the volume of the element, okay, is equal to the Altitude or the height of the element, of course, the height of the element is V and the base area is the differential of A. Now, if we will evaluate the double integral over the region R, then this gives us the volume of the solid. Okay, we have already the uh, region R where X goes from 0 to 1 and Y goes from 0 to 2. Hence, the volume of the solid is equal to the double integral of z. Now, what is z? z is 4 minus x minus y times the differential of a. We chose uh, horizontally simple, so the differential of a is dx dy. So, in the order dx dy, the inner variable of integration is x. So, x will go from, okay, give me the limits of integration. x will go from A, ano yung magiging limit sa integration natin? Okay, tingnan natin itong region R. Okay, X will go from the lower limit. Class, am I with you? From 0 to 1. Zero to okay, one 0 to 1. Okay, 0 to 1. Kala ko na-eject na ako eh. So, what about y? y will go from? 0 to 2 pa. 0 to 2. Okay, and this is the volume of the solid. Na-set up na natin. Pag na-set up na natin, wala nang problema kasi we know how to evaluate uh, double integrals. So, 
to evaluate the double integral, we start with the inner integral, the integral of 4 minus x minus y. Okay, in x, we will evaluate the integral in x. So the other variable y will be temporarily held as constant. Okay, so integral from 0 to 2. Okay, integral of 4 dx, of course, is 4x minus the integral of x dx is x squared over 2. Take note that y is temporarily held as constant. So we have the constant y, the integral of the differential of x is x. Okay, and this must be evaluated from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. Okay, and do not forget the differential of y. Pag minsan nakakalimutan yan, no? So, be careful. So, we have the integral from 0 to 2, okay? Evaluating the resulting integral at the upper limit, x is equal to 1. It means that we have to replace x by 1. So, that will give us 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4, okay? 1 square is 1, so minus 1 half. Plus, when x is 1 times y gives us y, minus the value of the integral at the lower limit, x is equal to zero. Now, of course, when x is equal to zero, everything is zero, dy. And if we will simplify, then that gives us integral from zero to two, four minus one half is eight minus one over two. Eight minus one, of course, is seven over two plus y dy. And then we evaluate the integral in y. Integral of 7 over 2 dy, of course, is 7 over 2y plus integral of y dy is y squared over 2. Then evaluate from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 2. Hence, okay, when y is equal to the upper limit of 2, we have 7 over 2 times 2 plus uh, 2 raised to the second power is 4 over 2, that gives us 2, minus the value of the integral of the lower limit, 0, and when y is 0, everything is 0. So I will just write 0. Okay, and in here we can do cancellation, two cancels, right? So 7, okay. May mali tayo dito. Ano yung mali natin? Natin ngayon, no? um, error of the uh, pen. Something is wrong here. Can you tell me what is wrong? Okay. Dito, this should be what? This should be negative. Yung y, yun na pansin. Okay, kasi minus yx to. So, ito dapat negative. So, please take note of the correction. No? So, well, anyway... So this must be, uh, let me just use the red pen. So this must be negative. This must be negative, right? Okay. And this is minus. Okay. So what must be the final answer? Okay, we cancel 2. So that gives us 7 minus 2. 2 and 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay, 5 cubic units. So the volume of the solid uh, below the surface, z is equal to 4 minus x minus y. And above the region in the xy plane where x goes from 0 to 1 and y goes from 0 to 2 is 5 cubic units. Okay. So we still have time. Let us try to draw the uh, solid. Okay. And let us recall what we had in Math 143. No? Okay. Projection lang yung gagawin natin dito kasi uh, we have the rectangular base on the xy plane. Okay. Sana masundan ha. Okay, and uh, we already have the region R on the xy plane. So we have uh, x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. So we have here 1, 0, 0. And uh, 
from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 2. Therefore, this point is at 0 to 0. Can everybody follow? And if we will draw the rectangular region R on the xy plane, we simply draw a line parallel to the y-axis and parallel to the x-axis. The two lines, x is equal to 1 and x is equal, uh, y is equal to 2, will meet at a common point. And this common point is at uh, 1, 2, 0. Okay. And of course, this is the origin, 0, 0, 0. We will just uh, project the... Uh, uh, vertices, okay, the four vertices to the plane, para mas madali. Okay, now, uh, let us have the projection, okay. The plane is Z is equal to 4 minus X minus Y. Okay, project muna natin tong, uh, uh 0, 0, 0, the origin. So, when X is 0, and y is equal to 0, we substitute in the equation of the plane. So when x is 0 and y is equal to 0, of course, z is equal to uh, 4. No? Z is equal to 4. So we count four units here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the projection of the vertex at the origin. So we have the projection of the origin no? to the plane at... Uh, Zero, zero, 004. Okay, this time let us project uh, the vertex 100. Zero, zero. So when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, what is the corresponding value of z? Give me the corresponding value of z when x is 1 and y is equal to 0. So that will give us 4 minus 1 minus 0. So what is z? Okay. 3. Pa. three. Okay, may baby tayong kasama. Okay, now how do we do that? Now this time we will draw a line parallel to the z-axis. Okay, ito yung isang edge, no? And then from 1, 0, 0, we count uh, 3 units. Okay, so approximately we have 1, 2, 3. So ito yung uh, vertex on the plane. So dalawa na yung edges natin, no? So... This time, let us project 0 to 0. So when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2, the corresponding value of z is? What is the corresponding value of z? When x is 0 and y is equal to 2? Hey. Anybody? compute lang tayo. I'm two pa. Two. Okay. Para I'm hearing the same uh, voice. Okay. So we draw again line parallel to the z axis and count two units. One, two. So up to this point. Okay. And this is uh, the vertex whose coordinates are zero to two. Then we, we, we will have now the projection of one, two, zero. So when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2, then the corresponding value of z is, of course, 1. Now 4 minus 1 minus 2 is 1. So we draw again. Uh, my internet is getting unstable again. I hope that you can hear me. Okay. So we count one unit and this is the projection. And this point is uh, 1, 2, one. Okay, so we are now ready to draw the plane, okay, based on the projection of the four vertices. Now, 1, 2, 0 is connected to 0, 2, 0. So, yung projection nila, sila din yung magkoconnect. Connected. Okay, so we just connect the vertices. Okay, and this, and lastly, we have this. Okay. So yung ano natin, uh, solid natin is actually a truncated rectangular parallelepiped where the upper base is a rectangular region on the xy plane where x goes from 0 to x is equal to 1 and y goes from 0 to 2. 
And uh, you can see this plane above. Okay, this plane above is the plane Z is equal to 4 minus X minus Y. I hope that you can still remember your lesson in Math 1, 4, 6 because you have this. But of course, we're not yet done. No? We still need to uh, draw the element. Okay, so to draw the element again, we draw lines parallel to the X axis and Y axis. Para madraw natin yung base. This is the differential of A. And we project it to the upper base, to the plane Z is equal to 4 minus X minus Y. Okay, gamit na lang kayo ng ruler. Nasa bandang malapit sa ano siya, sa the Z axis. Okay. So, yan. Okay. Just imagine that to with tong ano na to. Okay. So the height of the element is Z and the base area is the differential of A, which is dx dy. Of course, ito yung dx and this is dy. So that's it. Can you visualize a solid? Class, can you visualize? You had discussion on this, I think, in GED, di ba? Solid mensuration. Uh, you have the truncated uh, rectangular parallelepiped. Okay. So, question on uh, example number four. Any concern here? Meron bang tanong? Meron bang hindi malinaw? Okay. So, find the volume of the solid that lies below the surface. A is equal to 1 plus x plus y. Again, the upper base of the solid is a plane. You know? And above the region in the xy plane bounded by x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, and y is equal to x uh, squared. Uh, I, I wanted to draw the solid muna sana kagad, pero I think uh, we are... Uh, we will run out of time. So, i-draw muna natin ulit yung region R, no? Okay, so, let's see. We have Z is equal to 1 plus X plus Y. The upper base of the solid is the plane Z is equal to 1 plus X plus Y. Now, if we will draw the solid, we will do projection again. And uh, the region R in the XY plane is bounded by x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, and y is equal to x squared. Of course, y is equal to x squared is a parabola with vertex at 0, 0, opening upward. And uh, let us uh, sketch the region R in the xy plane. x axis, y axis. Okay, we have... Uh, y is equal to 0, it is bounded also by the x-axis, diba? When we say y is equal to 0. Tapos x is equal to 1. If this is 1, uh, x is equal to 1 is uh, a vertical line. Uh, can you hear me? My connection is again getting crazy. Okay. Can you still hear me? Class? Yes, po, ma'am. Okay. Okay, confirm kagad, ha, please. Okay, so, well, anyway, ito yung x is equal to 1, and we have y is equal to x squared. Of course, y is equal to x squared is a parabola, and it will, it will intersect the line x is equal to 1 at 1, 1. But we can show it. Well, anyway, when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to x squared, if we will solve this simultaneously, we have the value of x which is 1, therefore, the corresponding value of y is 1 also. Therefore, the two curves, uh, the, the line x is equal to 1 and the parabola will intersect at 1, 1. Okay, let's say that this is 1. This is the intersection at 1, 1. So, we can now draw the line. Okay, this is the line x is equal to 1 and since the parabola will intersect the x-axis at the origin, no, 0, 0, kasi ang vertex ng parabola is at the origin, so the region R is also bounded by 
um, y, oh, sorry, yeah, bounded by y is equal to zero and x is equal to zero at the origin. And uh, if we will draw the parabola y is equal to x squared, it is a parabola opening upward. Pero hindi na kasama na sa second quadrant, of course, no? Kasi ang boundary natin kung origin. So just draw part of the parabola on the first quadrant. Okay, and do not forget to label y is equal to x squared. Okay, so that's it. So we are referring to this region R. Okay. If you were to choose whether vertically simple or horizontally simple, meaning differential of A is dy dx or dx dy, ano yung pipiliin nyo? dy dx or dx dy? Or shall you use vertical or horizontal? Para lang tayong pumipili yan ng vertical element or horizontal element. Ano yung pipiliin nyo? Ha? Which is more convenient? Siyempre, yung pipiliin natin yung mas convenient. Alin ang magiging convenient? Okay. Using the differential of A in the order dy dx or the differential of A in the order dx dy. What do you think? If you were to solve this problem, if you were to find the volume of the solid where the rectangular region in the xy plane is this region, okay. what are you going to do? Choose it vertically simple, the y dx, or horizontally simple, the x dy. What do you think? Huh? Anybody? So, only na mas magiging simple. I relate nyo dun sa lesson natin ng no module 2. Ano yung magiging mas simple? Vertical element ba o horizontal element? Uh, class, am I with you now? Mas matagal ako na wala ngayon. Am I with you now? Class? Yes, po. I need confirmation. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, po. Nakashare sa inyo yung whiteboard? Hindi pa po. Hindi pa. Ay, nako. My internet is not so friendly. Okay, well, anyway. Nasaan na tayo? I was asking you, no, kung ano yung mas convenient. DY, DX, or DX, DY. So, kung i-relate natin sa module 2 discussion natin, so, alin ang mas magiging convenient using the vertical element or horizontal element? So, syempre, vertical, di ba? Ako na nga ang sasagot. Mas magiging convenient yung vertical. Gets nyo? Okay. Kasi kung horizontal, kung iti-take natin as horizontal, di magda-draw tayo ng horizontal line. It is bounded by two curves, x right and x left. Pag vertical, okay, bounded lang by the x-axis and, of course, bound, may boundary pa rin sa baba, pero bounded by the x-axis, and at the x-axis, y is equal to zero. So, mas convenient, di ba? And above by the parabola. And and look at the equation, y is equal to x squared. Meron na tayong y in terms of x. So, mas convenient na yung vertical. Kasi kung horizontal, isasolve pa natin yung x dito. y is equal to x squared. So, if we will solve for x, y is equal, uh, sorry, x is equal to the square root of y. So, meron pa tayong radical. So, uh, mas convenient yung walang radical, di ba? So, we choose dy dx. So, ang gagawin natin, the differential of a is dy dx. So, i-erase ko na to, ha? So, we will do it uh, vertically simple and uh, after drawing any vertical line within the region, we can now draw the element, the differential of A, which is the base of the element. Of course, ito yung differential of X and the other side is the differential of Y. So, differential of A is dy dx. Hence, we can now, nagbabanta na naman yung aking connection. Okay, let's make it faster. 
Okay, so we can now have the region R and get the interval of Y and X. Unahin natin yung Y kasi uh, we are using the order dy dx. The inner variable of integration is Y. So Y will go from where? Baba, pataas. So Y will go from? Faster, mga anak. Y will go from? Saan magsisimula ang Y? Okay, look at the uh, look at this uh, vertical line. Saan siya magsisimula? Ano yung pinakamababa? I'm from 0 to 1 po. 0 to, to 1 ba? Okay, look at the... Tingnan nyo yung din-drawing ko na line. 1 ba to? Yung upper? Nasaan yung upper? Nasa parabola, di ba? Now, please take note that you, you can just imagine that there are infinitely many vertical lines dito. So, the lower end is bounded by the x-axis and the upper end is bounded by what? Bounded by the parabola, di ba? So, gumawa lang tayo dito ng representative element. So, saan magsisimula? Sa so, y is equal to 0 sa x-axis hanggang sa parabola. And ano yung parabola? The parabola is y is equal to x squared. Nagets ba? Please take note that we are getting the inner variable of integration. Okay? Parang yung ginagawa natin sa module 2. No? Pag kinuha natin yung ano, kinuha natin yung length ng element, the length of the element is y, hindi 1. So y, and what is y? y is equal to x squared, di ba? So y will go from lower to upper, y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x squared. So y will go from 0 to x squared. Nakuha ba mga anak? Nakuha ba mga iho? Yeah? Huh? Yes, no? Yes, po, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So, what about the uh, interval of x? Okay. Take note, huh? dy dx, the outer variable of integration is x. And ano yung sinasabi ko pag nag-evaluate tayo ng double integral? The outer limits of integration must be? independent of the variables of integration, independent of x and y. So, if it is, if the outer limits of integration are independent of x and y, then the outer limits must be constant, di ba? So, constant dapat to ngayon value ng x natin. So, x will go from where? So, na natin yung left most na. So, ano yung left most? At the origin. So, eto, 0, 0. And itong point na to is 1, 0. Got it? So, x will go from where? From? Okay. From x is equal to 0 kasi ang left most natin na sa origin. x is equal to 0 hanggang saan? Hanggang dito sa linya na to which is x is equal to 1. Ah, na nakuha ba? Ha? Huh? Can I hear confirmation please? Excuse me, am I still with you? Na eject ba ako? Or everybody's uh, sleeping? Excuse me. Am I with you? I'm wondering if yes, I... Yes, po, ma'am. Uh, okay. Pakikonfirm yes, po, ma'am. Marinig pa rin po kayo. Yes, ma'am. Okay, pakikonfirm naman. So, naintindihan ba? The answer is just yes or no. Yes, naintindihan how we got the region R. Kasi ito napaka-importante nito kasi dito manggagaling yung limits of integration natin. So well anyway, uh, we will be running out of time. So I will just set up the equation. It is 1030. I will just set up the equation. Okay? So if we will get the volume of the solid, it is equal to the height 
z times the differential of a and evaluating this okay the double integral over the region r will give us the volume of the solid okay well anyway we have the double integral of z z is 1 plus x plus y the differential of a we chose it vertically simple so dy dx the inner variable of integration is y and y will go from 0 to x squared the lower limit of integration is 0 upper limit of integration is uh, x squared and uh, the outer variable of integration is x Okay, therefore, x will go from 0 to 1. It is already 10.30. So, ito kaya nyo nang gawin, di ba? Uh, first, evaluate the integral in y from 0 to x square. Yung result, the resulting integral becomes the integrand of the outer integral in x. Okay, so please continue. <clears throat> 